Hello my friends and welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Zant's helmet in Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys find this video useful, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and all that good stuff. And here we go. Let's jump straight into this. So, first things first, we're going to be going from Skull Lake. There's a chasm here. If I uh, zoom all the way out, you can see it's in the Akala region. Uh, so if I zoom back in, you can see that I guess the closest tower would probably be this one here. Uh, the Yulri Mountain, and then we have the uh, shrine right here. So again, Skull Lake, uh, there's a chasm right here. What we're going to be wanting to do is going down in the chasm. Now, do keep in mind, anything with water is going to be a, a brick wall. So we're going to be avoiding that. We're going to be going down here uh, where it's blue. And then I've gotten some of the uh, uh, stuff uh, open up here. Now, before we do that, we actually have to go over to Goron City. So make your way over to Goron City, which is right over here on the left of Death Mountain. Uh, it's just kind of, I guess, north of the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. Um, make your way there. And in the uh, kind of southwest portion, there's an armor shop. We have to go to the armor shop to buy two pieces of armor. They're very, very expensive. If you need a rupee guy to have one up on my channel of a way that you can earn rupees, you know, somewhat quickly, uh, pretty quickly and pretty easily, I think so. Uh, anyways, I'll link down in the description below and all that good stuff. Um, now, yeah, go buy that armor because it's going to be it's going to be hot. It's going to be very, very hot. So you got to do that. Now, I will say one thing before we jump into this. Uh, we could technically go down through Death Mountain's, uh, you know, kind of a... Uh, peak if you will but it doesn't open up until you start off the story portion of that kind of side of things right so once you kind of make start making your way towards a fire temple uh that's when that will open up so if you have that open already you can just go straight down there uh and it's going to be way way faster uh probably but we're going from skull lake so we're going to jump into the chasm i'll show you guys the exact path to take and hopefully we don't die along the way uh, again, I have some of the light roots activated. Some of them I do not. Uh, as you can see, it is very, very dark. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I am. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, throw some uh, some stuff here. Okay, we might be in bigger trouble than I thought. Give me a second. Okay, so I found a way out, finally. Uh, show you guys which way you have to face while you're down here in the Akala House of Bones. Uh, I don't want to go back in there because, as you can see, they're trying to kill me. There's a, a thick layer of rock. You're going to need to destroy it. There are a bunch of boulders that are going to drop as you progress through breaking this. Okay, he's coming through. That's great. Uh, so you can fuse stuff. You can fuse stuff and uh, find your way out of here. There are also bombs, bomb flowers on the outside. They're on the wrong side, uh, unfortunately. But once we get out here... We should be good to go. Again, this is, uh, well, never mind. We're not, we're not, we're not quite there yet, unfortunately. Hold on. I got to pull out a bow. Uh, since we did get some bomb flowers, though, we can go ahead and light this up like that. Well, on the upside, there's a bunch of precious stones that can drop from there. Anyways, I finally made it out. And for what it's worth, that is a very deep pit. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I didn't really think this one through prior to so we're just gonna we're just winging this at this point i'm sorry uh like i said this is i'm trying to give you guys the early route meaning like if you don't have death mountain unlocked then you can just take this route so if we go around the left side eventually we're gonna make it all the way around again this is a very tedious way to do it i mean the other option technically you could have went through where was the other chasm i guess this chasm over here by typhlo ruins Thigh flow ruins, excuse me. So there was that option, but we're we're going we're going through here. So look, a dragon. Isn't that cool? Hi, dragon. Anyways, let's keep going. I'm sorry, I'm getting easily distracted right now. Uh we're finally making it around and we can we can continue this. So I think at this point, I'll speed up the clip. We're we're out of the uh the muck of it, and uh yeah, we'll just speed it up for the sake of time, because we've already wasted enough of that. All right, my friends, so we finally made it. We're at the uh, Colosseum. I'll show you guys the exact location on the map. It's called the Scorching Colosseum. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see there's a couple uh, light routes close by that I've already lit up. 
uh, the fire temple is like right here. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess, to some extent. You know, I'm not showing you guys a fire temple, obviously. Uh, and then we have the a light route behind it. That's why I didn't go from this chasm because I was trying not to show you the fire temple. So <laughs> there you have it. All right, we're going to drop down and I'll uh, walk you guys through this uh, live. I'm actually recording this live. We got some moblins coming up first. So let's go ahead and try to uh, knock them out. Hold on, what am I, what I got here? This is, this is gonna burn up, isn't it? So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use this. All right, couple headshots with a level 32 bow and uh, they're, they're dead. We got some uh, more moblins. Don't forget to pick up the resources. These are very, very important to pick up, um, always. All right, let's see if we can, there we go. Almost a one hit. Hold on. Whoa, there we go. I'm using a Master Sword. If you don't know how to get the Master Sword, I have a guide about getting the Master Sword on my channel. Why is he on fire? That's crazy. Okay. Well, easy peasy. By the way, if you do die, it's it's okay. You don't, It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to respawn, respawn you um, on whatever wave that you were on. So if I die right now, I'm going to be on this wave right here. Uh, also worth noting is that for Gloom... Oh my gosh. For Gloom... Hold on. Let me, let me try to get my train of thought here. Uh, for Gloom, if you get hit by it, you, you get broken hearts and you can't restore those hearts. So do keep that in mind. I only have two hearts left, uh, unfortunately. And um, the only way to restore it is if you cook basically these, uh, these plants that you can find in uh, the Sky Islands uh, called Sundalions. Uh, you cook those and it allows you to restore some of your hearts. I don't have any on me right now, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to wing this. I didn't really want to use my Lionel bow. I wanted to save that, but I guess what can you do, right? We're kind of stuck using it. It's okay. We'll figure a way out. At least when we're shooting him, uh, because we're in... Oh my gosh. Because we're in the volcano. What the heck, dude? What is going on here? Leave me alone. Because we're in the volcano, it's lighting him up on fire. There we go. Uh-oh. 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 I am s in such trouble right now. Okay. I think we're okay. There we go. Come on! Oh, boy! And I'm dead! Hold on. All right. And we got him. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. There's another wave. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even realize that. That is so unfortunate. That is so incredibly unfortunate. All right. Well, we got another wave. Do I have any bombs left? I don't have any bombs left. Well, you know what? Uh, if I can actually... Oh my gosh, dude. If I can aim... I was gonna say... We can at least get a couple of them down early. That would help. Well, this guy's chasing us. Like, there's no tomorrow, so... We're kind of in a... In a pickle here. Uh, alright. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wing this. Alright, we're good. We're good. Yep, we're good. There he goes. Let's keep hitting this guy. This is gonna break, unfortunately. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm dead. All right, we're down to the last guy, thankfully. And uh, this is how I've been doing it, basically. If you can get in close, two swings with one of those heavy weapons, uh, he basically, he'll go down, he'll fall down. Look at that. Just keep knocking him down, run over. Swing it again. Yeah, he's got no time. No time to get up. Come on. If you let him get up, then that's 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 your fault, man. At that point, that's your fault. You gotta keep him you gotta keep him down. We're almost there. Come on! Stay down, you big turd! Big ugly. There he goes. There he goes. Alright. Again, grab all those resources. They're very valuable. Very, very valuable. So, again, I, I'm like, I'd like to show you guys all of this, uh, how we do this, because uh, it can get pretty tricky. It can get pretty tricky. All right, let's go ahead, grab the chest in the middle, and uh, there you guys have it. That is Zant's helmet, and it makes you unfreezable. So, if you're uh, fighting any kind of icy or snowy kind of um, creatures, then... You have that. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. Let me go like that. There you go. That looks a little bit better. We're gonna we're gonna cook 
but it looks a little bit better. So there you guys have it. Zan's Helmet. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys soon in another one. Till then, game on. And thanks for watching.